Good evening to you guys. Happy Monday. It is gloomy as heck out here as you can kind of see. I'm on the La Fortune Park Trail uh, behind Memorial High School uh, football stadium, La Fortune Stadium. Uh, <clears throat> just to show you kind of how gloomy it is around here. You know, we're in the 40s. It's kind of raining, but uh, I'm still out here running the trail. Now, I believe it's important within reason to run in any condition you can uh, just because you never know what you're going to get on race day so that's what I'm trying to do here we're starting week 12 this is the final recovery week of uh, training uh, next week is the final week of the peak phase of training so I'm very excited about that two weeks from today we start tapering we're about less than four weeks away from route 66 half marathon which I've been working up for so I'm very happy about that at the start of this run I was 15.96 miles shy less than 16 miles shy of uh, hitting 150 miles I'm hoping to get five in today I'm about three in right now if I can get five in that'll put me at less than 11 miles uh, I have a 64 minute cruise interval run tomorrow which should be about hopefully six and a half miles and then Wednesday I should be hitting 150 so this is a very exciting week there's a lot going on and uh, it's gonna be like this all week it's gonna be cold it's gonna be dreary uh, there's even a chance for snow on Wednesday so we'll see how much of it actually sticks but I will probably be out here because I'm crazy like that um, certain people would probably call it on a day with snow but I'm hitting 150 this weekend I'm going to exceed it if I can so I'm hoping for 150 three to 154 miles if we can so gonna do that gonna continue on with this last foundation run of the month of October and we'll see you later Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is cold as crap out here. It's cold, it's windy, it's still dreary. Like I said, it's going to be this way all week long, unfortunately. I'm four miles into this run, but I am point zero six miles away from 150 miles. I thought I'd take you along on that adventure. So, here we go. So there you have it, 150 miles. I knew I wasn't too far off. What I'm gonna to try to do is get one more mile in, get 5.06 in on the day, that put me at 151 miles so far for the month of October, which should put me on track to get about 155 for the month with tomorrow's run. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Here we are, Saturday morning, about 7.20 in the morning. A little bit of a late start, mainly because it's a little chilly outside and I forgot to charge my watch last night, so I had to wait and let it charge for a few minutes. These are kind of the, some of the uh, just uh, hashtag first world problems we runners have to go through. So, um, watch is sufficiently charged to allow me to get this run done. It's supposed to be 10 miles today, but I think we'll make it 13. We're here at 2nd in Denver, which is the uh, turn off for Route 66, the uh, uh, half marathoners will continue on Denver up toward the finish line. The full marathoners will turn and head east on 2nd Street uh, to do the back half. We're going to showcase the back half today. So from where I start to where I finish will probably be about 13 miles. Um, just to give you guys a um, 
uh, an idea of what you uh, can expect to see on the back half. I'm not going to go all the way up to the finish today uh, since you guys have already seen that on a previous video. So uh, I'll just start from here and run the back half up to first in Denver and call it from there. So um, and and everything. And then after the uh, after I get done running, we'll go into a recap of the run as well as an October recap and what my goal is for the month of November, which is actually starting yesterday. Yesterday was November 1st. And it is race month, so Route 66 is not that far away. So we're going to get this started. It is a little chilly out there, but uh, with the sun coming up, shouldn't be that way for very long once you get up and going. So uh, follow along. Here we go.
almost at the tail end of the run here. And I'm checking in with you from the center of the university tour here on the full marathon. So, Route 66 has a reputation as the world's shortest ultra, mainly because of this detour. Uh, it's an extra 0.3 miles on top of your marathon run, so you get 26 and a half miles instead of your 26.2, and you get a fancy little coin. So you go right down here, they'll have some coins of jello shots, which I kind of usually partake in one that late in the run, because, you know, honestly, it's not going to matter one way or the other. So... And then you turn around, you come back, you run back to first, over to Denver and up. So I'm going to go, I want to start from here, I'm going to run up toward first, over to Denver, and call it a race. So, see you guys soon. for me but behind me you can see the turn off to go to the finish line it goes from uh, Denver from first to Archer uh, Archer over to um, can't remember but it all finishes in the Guthrie Green so but uh, that's 26.2 or 26.5 miles however you want to do it if, it if you're doing the center of the university tour which is really fun so but uh, I'm gonna walk back to the car and then I'll talk about my October recap and what I'm going to accomplish in November. So see you guys soon. All right, so I made it back to the car. So that run was 13.7 miles at about a nine minute and 40 second average per mile pace. So pretty happy with that, I uh, can't complain. So uh, to recap the month of October, I did make my 100, 150 mile goal. As you guys saw, I actually did wind up running about 155.52 miles on the month of October so I'm really happy about that uh, it's a good month and uh, you know uh, very it feels very good to get that in leading up to race day uh, my goals for the month of November really uh, Monday starts the last uh, week of peak training so I'm going to hit it hard then and then after that we start tapering so I'm going to try to uh, take it a little easier this month leading up to race day so I don't have any um, unexpected injuries. Uh, I actually tripped today and uh, yanked my shoulder pretty good. I'm, I'm feeling it still, still right now. So uh, we'll see how it feels here in a few hours. I want to go home and pop some ibuprofen. But, um, you know, try to, try to make sure that I don't get uh, injured heading into race day so I can uh, um, get, my, get my run in. Uh, I am trying to shoot for a sub two hour half marathon. We'll see how that goes. Uh, that's a goal. We'll, I don't know if I'll be able to make it, but I sure as heck am going to try. So uh, anyway, uh, this concludes week 12. Week 13 starts Monday and uh, we'll just go from there. So see you guys later.